Good morning, my friends. It's Monday, January 30th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. My cat is actually still in bed. <laughs> I think she's enjoying bed. And I wanted to look again at this beautiful etching by John Martin, the expulsion from the Garden of Eden. I'm overwhelmed by the light and darkness in this piece of copper plate on which this is etched. The idea that there was a, an angel that really protected Eden from us once we were cast out is quite a concept that we are no longer capable of paradise and would somehow contaminate it or hurt it if we were to enter it again. It would become not paradise. Hence the only way forward for us was through Christ, not back into Eden again. We can't go back there. but only through the darkness and into new light. We continue this morning in Paul's letter to the church in Galatia. Paul makes a, a very good distinction this morning between an heir and a slave. When a child is younger and growing, it has to obey the father in this case, it would have been the father back then, in everything. And in a sense, uh, really as a slave, there isn't choice, it isn't democracy. Uh, the child or heir has to do what the father says until that child comes of age. And then um, everything is given to the child. A slave, on the other hand, has to do what the master says, but never owns um, a piece of anything. In fact, is owned and is never free and never does make choices or is never given the freedom to mature into authority. When it comes to our relationship with God, we do need to obey and be faithful, but we are heirs, not slaves. We follow Christ because in following, we will inherit the kingdom of God because in following, we grow into the fullness of who we're called to be. And yes, sometimes we need to follow without understanding, like a child would, the parent or an heir. But we understand that in time, we will mature into the fullness of our inheritance, and then we will be able to make choices and have authority. So at times, God may require things of you that you don't fully understand, but that you know are right, um, being faithful to your spouse, being obedient, um, being generous and giving when you don't feel like it, serving the poor when you would rather do something else. All of these things, we, we are obedient in these things, not always understanding how they benefit us, but understanding that in our obedience, we grow into the fullness of, of who God has called us to be. We are heirs of the kingdom, not slaves, heirs. You will inherit all, all this goodness and glory beyond imagining. Trust in that and walk the walk. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We ask Lord that you would bless those who are sick, those who are lonely, we ask that you would bless those who grieve, those who are hungry. We ask that you would bless those who are in debt and can't see their way out. Those who struggle with addiction, mental illness, those who find themselves without home or in prison. We ask you to help us make a just society, Lord, we ask you to help us bring peace to this world. We ask you to help us be bearers of your kingdom. 
We ask you to help us cherish and care for this earth. Lord, we ask that you would bless all those who seek to follow you, that we may become inheritors of the kingdom, wise beyond measure, and knowledgeable of our love for you and your love for us, and in that knowledge to make decisions that transform the world. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.